put in work, didn't we? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily. This is Malcolm. I have white strips in right now. I'm using that. That's my light. My husband is gone for three days and I don't know what to do. So we're going to make videos. So today I am going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to sew, but I have white strips in and I haven't fixed myself up. So I'm going to get ready. I'm going to jump with this guy for a little bit and then we'll get to some kind of sewing. <gasps> Let me give you guys the inspo for today's project. You guys know the cardigan people are wearing, pairing with their gym outfit. So I went online to buy one and there's like none online. I don't know if they're sold out, if no one's making them. I don't know what the issue is, but I can't find any good ones. We're gonna make some. I have this cardigan and what I want is to use this as a pattern guide. So if I were to put it on like this, and then in the back here, I would want it cropped. So this is the look that we are going for. I went to Joanne's picking up something for a project for a friend. I found these three beautiful knit fabric in this like stone gray, this kind of like camel tan color and a sage green. And I want a cardigan in each of these colors. <laughs> We're gonna take one fabric and you're gonna fold it in half in the way that it folds to go around your body. I stretch. Okay, the stretch is going around my body. And then fold this in half. What we are going to do now is fold the sleeves inside because we're gonna cut the sleeves separate to, to the body. And then we're gonna fold this in half. It is sewn on the side here and I know I want to make it shorter so I'm going to already shorten that. Then here you can see the armholes. It goes out here, in here. Wow this chalk must be old or something. So we want to cut not super close to the actual size of this because um, we still have to sew it, so it's gonna be taken in some. So this is the sleeve, and we have to cut two of these. Hey, oh, he just drew on my photo strip. You really had to do that right now? That is us when we were young and cute. Cut out the arm pattern, I lay it flat on a folded edge and then go ahead and go about an inch um, out of the sleeve. That way when you sew it, you have that seam allowance and it's not too tight. And I just cut along where it is sewn on the actual garment here. So this is the back piece right now. We want the front piece to just be the line here. So if we were to make another one of these, this would be the front of us, which we don't need in this cardigan. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off all the back and meet it at the armpit, which is this seam here. So we're gonna put this on our fabric and cut that out. So now let's sew here and here. And very important, it has to be a zigzag stitch. That's the only stitch we'll be using on this knit material. Remember here we stop and then keep the armhole open, start back up at the armpit. Now that we have sewn this, we need the sleeves. We are going to sew the sleeve 
straight down this stitch here. Add elastic around the ends of this. That way we keep how baggy this is, but at the end it will scrunch up. I'm gonna put this in my machine and I pull as I zigzag stitch over this hem that I already made just to make it kind of easier. So pull and hold it tight. And then we're gonna go ahead and measure to make sure it fits. So the arm sleeve goes here, and this goes here. So obviously it's too big. So we're gonna go in, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut off all that excess. Bring it inside out. Find the armpit seam, so the way we sew it in the inside of the arm. You're gonna connect this to wherever the middle of this part is. The seams line up and pin and do that to both sides. And then what you're gonna do is sew in a circle. So when I say a circle, I usually start at the armpit seam and I do a zigzag stitch all the way around. You're not sewing it shut and you probably will at least once or twice while starting up, because I did, but you're gonna sew this circle. I finished that first pattern. So with that pattern, I went ahead and cut out the back piece for the new one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this one a little differently. I want it to be a turtleneck and kind of cut open in the front instead of like a cardigan style. Here I'm testing out the cuts and seeing if the edges match up and you can kind of tell what it would look like if it were sewn together. That front piece would be open, the back is covered. And now using the sleeve, I'm gonna go ahead and cut two sleeve patterns. And after cutting those, we're gonna move on to the neck. So for our turtleneck, um, we just wanna make sure it's like this long enough rectangle to fit around our head that we can enter our head and then also it's not too tight around our neck. So I already kinda know my size cause I've done this a million times, but just kind of measure and test out on your neck. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the green pattern. So I'm using the last pattern we cut to cut this one. I'm making the green one longer. I want, again, a different cardigan style. So I want a long cardigan. I don't want it too close on the neck holes and I just want it to be kind of regular, still kind of flowy. So in all, we will be having three different cardigan styles out of that one pattern that we made. And I'm just telling you guys, this is so easy and something you guys can sell and make. These actually ended up to be so freaking cute. I can't wait to show you guys. And then quickly cutting um, the sleeves for the green one. The sleeves I didn't change on any of them. So all I changed was the bodice style on all of them, but the sleeves were the same. Just flowy and then the elastic at the bottom to make sure it tightens at the wrist. Let me lay it out for you so I get, you guys can kind of see how this is put together. Um, you're going to be sewing the armhole, you're going to be sewing the shoulder seams, you're going to be putting the neck on, and here it is 9.59, and at 10.15 we finish. That means we only took 16 minutes to sew this. That's how quick this is. So this is something you can make and sell and easily make profit off of because this is something you can knock out quickly in your day. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the green one which again is another quick and simple one. I got the gray, I'm almost done, I am excited. I also like to lay out the pieces, that way if something doesn't match up perfectly, I can go ahead and cut and trim or adjust the length, you know, you can kind of adjust before you sew. Sometimes I still adjust after I sew, but here it came out perfect. And this one was also a really cute style. I'm excited to wear all of these. I already know which one is my favorite just by looking at them, but we're going to try it on anyways. We made three different styles out of that one pattern, and yeah, let's see how it looks. Here's the first one. This is that stone gray. This one is very cropped. This one's like probably the shortest out of them all, and the sleeves are nice and comfy. The material feels comfy. It's not too heavy. It's not something I feel like I would sweat in while I worked out, but I like it. It looks good. So this here kind of curves in. I like that part about it. This is something that I feel like you can wear even with regular clothes, like a jeans and maybe a bandeau top. It doesn't have to be just your workout. It is my absolute favorite. I love the turtleneck. I think I'm gonna make more of these in this style specifically. I love the turtleneck and I love the cut of it. It's just perfect enough. It's cropped, it has the loose sleeves, it's not tight. The turtleneck isn't bugging me, so this wouldn't bug me at the gym either. This one we made longer. It doesn't go in at the neck like that. It's more of just like a regular cardigan style with the loose sleeves that still kind of comes in at your um, wrist. 
but I also really like this one. The material of this one is way lighter and just feels really awesome. soft on your skin. And we made all those three out of that one pattern and just kind of tweaking little details to make different styles. I just got back from the gym with my cousin and Malcolm. I got to wear my sweater and it was comfy. I was sweating in it, but everything was fine. This sweater is now gym approved. I worked out, everything was fine. Nothing was tight, nothing was loose, nothing bothered me, no wardrobe malfunctions. I liked it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe so I know to make more similar to this video. Um, comment down below which one you like and I'm... This is so funny looking back. I did not know Malcolm even knew how to make this face. I don't know what in the world this face even was. It's like a dinosaur. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing?